There is nothing like some homegrown cucumbers and refrigerator pickles. So that's what we're going to make. We're going to make refrigerator pickles. This is the recipe that I used. Um, I have not tasted these pickles yet. We're saving them for the 4th of July, but I have great anticipation. This is the water where I dissolve and the vinegar where I dissolve the salt and the sugar in preparation for the pouring over of my pickles. Um, while that's cooling down, I throw four more quarts in my Nesco canner so that I can get four more quarts of our homegrown green beans to put on the pantry shelf. Um, and thank you, Wendy, for the tip about the trivet. Um, this is a half gallon mason jar, and that's how I like to make my refrigerator pickles. You can either do them by the gallon or half gallon. Um, my gallons are all kind of being used. I need to order some more of those from Azure. They have the best price on them. And um, so I just had an abundance of these half gallons, and so that's what I decided to make. So as you see, I've already put the peppercorns in. I've also put the garlic in that I kind of smashed and um, I did add some bay leaves it's not on that recipe but the bay leaves will help the crunch of your cucumbers um, and so I put that in I did have some banana peppers and then I just poured the brine over it by this time it was cool it was just warm because you don't want to cook your cucumbers and then you let them sit for about 10 days in the refrigerator and they're delicious but the one thing I forgot you have to see do you know what I forgot to put in the in the pickles? <laughs> so these were extra cucumbers I had, not enough to do more pickles. So I decided to go ahead and make a summer salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, and some Vidalia onion I had. Um, and all I did was pour some infused garlic olive oil over it and an infused white vinegar I believe it was a pomegranate quince um, white balsamic and I get that from my friend's shop um, the olive tree and vine and I can put a link in the description they are local but they do ship um, in the um, lower 48 so that's what I'm doing here is just making the salad. I actually have a video on how I do this salad and it's wonderful because you can constantly change the, fav the flavor profiles by what uh, infused oil you use versus the infused uh, balsamic that you decide to use and then you just put some salt and pepper. Um, I also always use the Tuscan. I love that Tuscan spice. It just makes everything taste better. So that that took care of the cucumbers. I'm saving the rest of my brine. Um, you can just stick cucumbers and things as they come out of the garden in it and make more refrigerator pickles. So now um, it is time to take care of all these zucchini coming out of the garden. So I decided to shred them for zucchini bread, a future zucchini bread that we will have when we don't have zucchini coming out of the garden. And um, matter of fact, I had a whole bunch I just took to our potluck at church. I did a different type of squash casserole. Oh, it was really good. Um, got lots of compliments on it. So, um, so I was bagging these up and I did these, I believe I did it by three cup measurements. Um, I think that's how I did it and labeled my freezer bag. I tried to get the extra air out so it'll lay flat. If you have one of those, um, ones that take all the air out of it, you might want to do that. I just use a Ziploc bag. It's just easy. And I didn't get the Ninja out for this. I used my box grater because there were people watching television in the den and I didn't want to disturb them. And I was just listening to praise and worship music while I was working in the kitchen. I felt like doing it and so I did it. And I was thankful because it took care and got that harvest off my kitchen table because I have a lot more harvest on the kitchen table and I need to take care of it and so it's that is the battle this this time of the year as stuff is coming in hey guys it is Friday night so it's night time in the kitchen um, I had garden goodies that had come out I needed to take care of and I felt like doing it so I did it tonight after dinner and I have four more quarts of our homegrown green beans and my canner and <laughs> to Wendy, 
who told me that I had the wrong trivet in. Thank you, Wendy. I put the right one in this time. Uh, but it didn't affect the, the seal on the last batch. Um, then I also processed. <clears throat> I graded up all of our yellow. This one's a mix of yellow and green zucchini. These two are just yellow, and this will be for making zucchini bread. I have one in the refrigerator um, that I baked yesterday. Uh, well, I had two I baked. We have one left. So um, this will be for future zucchini breads or the vegetable lasagna I actually used, um, just grated up zucchini, was one of my main vegetables. I made my first batch of refrigerator pickles. I did put some of our banana peppers in there and it has some peppercorns, our fresh garlic, and this is a white, an organic white distilled vinegar with a little sugar, salt, and um, I did add some bay leaves to this and I will put the recipe in the description. This is the brine that I had left over. So I'm just going to save that because when I get more cucumbers, I can just cut them up and um, all I'll have to add is some peppercorn. Oh, oh, I forgot my deal. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this deal. <laughs> Look at that beautiful deal. Okay, so I have to get my dill in the jar. <laughs> That's going to be fun. All right, so I'm going to put my dill in there and then that one will be done. This is a salad I did for tomorrow with the remainder of our cucumbers. These were some store-bought tomatoes that needed to be used, some uh, Vidalia onion, and some spices, and I just used some infused garlic olive oil with a pomegranate quince um, white vinaigrette from my friend's store. I will leave her link in the description. They do ship um, if you're interested in getting some quality olive oils and vinegars, infused vinegars or just good vinegars. They also carry that. So anyway, I have been in my kitchen for about two hours and I got all of this done. I'm gonna put the zucchini in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put the dill in my refrigerator pickles, set them in the refrigerator, and we'll probably test them out in about 10 days. Um, I'll put my extra brine in the refrigerator and just, it'll be housed there, it's ready to go, because every day we're, we're pulling out so many cucumbers, so it'll be easy to do another batch. Um, I'll put my, my um, salad, my infused salad in the refrigerator and that'll be something that's going to be easy tomorrow and I need it to be easy tomorrow and these I'm just going to leave I have unplugged they have finished and when I get up in the morning I'll take them out and I'll check the seals and um, not only that but I saved all the ends my chickens are going to have some good snacks tomorrow so and the only thing I have not processed are three little cabbages so not too bad, not too shabby for a couple hours in the kitchen. Um, so anyway, I hope this will encourage you as you have stuff starting to come out of your garden. If you don't, check out your local farmer's markets because you can easily make refrigerator pickles. You don't need a canner to do that. You, just, you need a refrigerator. And you can do the same with zucchinis. You can put that in your freezer. and Or you can just get enough for this coming week and make some really good things. So anyway, with that, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you next time. Bye. If you guessed I forgot the dill, you are right. <laughs> so thankfully I caught it before it got too far away from me. I got all the dishes cleaned up. I have a, I had a clean sink by the end of this this evening of preserving. And four more quarts of beans on my on my pantry shelf. So thank you for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye.